Hey guys, all right, I am back right here with my brand new Night Crew Hyper Reef 50 uh, LED light that I got from Amazon for $99. Now in this case, um, I did not do the entire uh, unboxing because basically, man, I don't know, in this case, I just thought that was a little too boring even for me. It's just such a simple thing to just put together with a couple screws. Um, there are a couple things I'm going to show you over here um, as to how I mounted it and I made a little bit of a modification for my all-in-one uh, because of my protein skimmer uh, in the middle. So I am still cycling my tank. So no making fun of it for being dirty uh, and for having micro bubbles because I'm also breaking in my skimmer. I'm only two days into that. Um, so I just have it overflowing <clears throat> back into my tank. So I have some micro bubbles uh, all in here that you'll see. But anyways, uh, I bought this light. I did not get the separate controller with it just yet, but I'm going to. First, I just wanted to make sure that it was going to fit in this compartment uh, with my protein skimmer. And there was something I was concerned about that I did have to make a modification, but it worked perfectly. I'm going to show you. Um, so my review today really of this light is not going to be how it grows corals because I don't know. I will say that I got this light for a reason because I've seen tons and tons of great review videos uh, and word back from other people that have been using these lights for over a year to two years uh, with great success. So I'm very excited. Now I did go with the 50 watt version, um, which is way more than I need for this little 11 gallon um, tank. That is for sure. However, it is super um, adjustable and I can make adjustment ranges from like 10% intensity uh, all the way up to 100% obviously. Uh, so this way I can keep it very high so I can get a very good mixture uh, of my lights without having uh, hot spots. Uh, so with these you know, LEDs, if I have them you know, really close because I had a less powerful light, like maybe the 30 watt, I wouldn't get as good of a spread and mixture of the light. As many of you know, the higher your light is, the better uh, that the different color lights and spectrums like mix together. Um, so anyway, so I wanted to go a little bit bigger because I can always dim it down. And then if and when I upgrade, uh, this light would be sufficient for a much bigger tank as well. So... I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to bring you over here and show you a little bit more. Uh, you know what? What am I talking about? Let's turn this thing on first, then I'll do that. So just for starters, once again, I don't have the controller yet. When I get that controller, it actually plugs into the back, and then I'll mount it down here on the side, and I'll program it all for my, diff my different cycles. Um, but here you can still do some stuff uh, manually. So first of all, if you turn it on, it'll just turn on to what you had it preset at, which for me was uh, you know, a mixture of some whites and blues. I don't know exactly the intensity levels because I didn't count when I was pushing the buttons because I'm not using the light yet. Uh, but basically this is a mix um, of the whites and the blues. If I hit it again, I can go just whites. This is probably, I think I have it on about like 20% intensity right now, super low. Uh, if I hit it again, it goes to just blues. And if I hit it one more time, once again, it's a mixture. Now, if I want to just change the intensity, there's a white and a blue button here as well. And I can just scroll through, as you can see, and there's like eight different intensity modes for each color. And so you can just, you know, pick the one that works best for you. So, uh, Anyways, I love it uh, for that. It's actually super simple to operate. However, it doesn't come with a built-in timer. Once again, uh, you do have to order that separately. I think that was $44. So this light was $99, and the controller is $44, but the controller is going to be awesome so that I can really ramp up you know, my morning cycles and then my evening cycles and get everything dialed in with specific intensities um, that I want. But you could get away without having... Um, the controller if you wanted you would just have to use some sort of a, a plug-in timer and then you really couldn't have your ramp ups and your ramp downs you could just set it to the intensity level mixture that you wanted but it would kind of just be an on or off um, sort of thing so for some folks that that might be a negative uh, but for $99 so for $143 you get this thing completely controllable with a color 
uh, LED screen controller um, that's got a nice little magnetic mount or you can, you can screw on the mount and then it just mounts to it magnetically. So I'll be able to have it down here, just pull it off, make adjustments when I need to, put it back. Super awesome. It actually it plugs right into the back. It doesn't require a separate uh, power controller either. Um, so I like that. And then with this mounting arm, you'll just mount that other cord back and down. So let's go over here and take a little bit uh, of a closer look at the Hyper Reef LED 50 light up close. Okay, so for the purposes of this video, I actually went ahead and turned the light off just because you never know how the glare is going to be and, and how it's going to affect the video. So here's those little controllers, buttons that I was uh, showing you earlier if you couldn't see them. Um, super simple. It does have the option right here with these four screws you, that you can hang it. So if you want to get the hanging kit that does come separately. Now this adjustable mounting arm does come uh, with it. And it was so simple, which is why I didn't even show you in the box. You literally have two screws where you hook this on here. And then these four screws you hook on here and then you're done. Like that, that's it. So I just didn't want to uh, unbox that and show that because it was so ridiculously easy. Now, here's the part that I want to show you because if you have a small all-in-one tank like me, this is why I didn't get the controller and why I wanted to see how I was going to be able to make this work. So if you look down here at the bottom of this bracket, I have reversed this, which is a completely non-issue. But when this comes, this part of the bracket is on this side. And so I was pretty sure that it wasn't going to fit here between my skimmer, but I wasn't sure uh, until I got it. And I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to adjust it because nobody else had made a video like this. So if you look at these, let me see if I can move this. If you look at these screws back here, okay? So these four screws were super simple. So normally you would just loosen those so that you could adjust this up and down and get your light closer or further away. But you can also just take them all the way off. So I actually unscrewed these screws all the way, took this connector right here, right? That was on this side, flipped it around to the back side and then screwed it back in. Now, that could be a problem if you wanted your light super close to the water because the metal bracket down here would go possibly underneath your water line. I'm not sure I'd be concerned about that anyways, to be honest with you, but maybe you don't want a painted metal thing in your water. However, for me, because I'm mounting it high, uh, this still isn't in the water line. It's not underneath the water. So for me, it worked out perfectly just to reverse this bracket. So now I have plenty of room for my skimmer, which yes, I'm breaking in my skimmer. So I just, I'm just letting it run right back into the tank. Um, that's going to take a while to dial that in. But anyways, it was as simple as that. So then you just put this cord through here so you can adjust this light in and out obviously and then up and down now like I said with this light this is way more light than I need and I did that for multiple reasons I'm gonna repeat one of them is I didn't want to get some little tiny light that I had to get really close in order to get my par deep because I wouldn't get a very good spread and so this is recommended I believe for an 18 by 18 spread I'm only using it by 13 by like 10 um, so it does spill over. It's more than I need, um, but I love it. So let's turn this thing on again. So I love the light. Uh, I'm assuming that it's going to grow corals just fine. I'm going to have to mess around with the intensity levels. Uh, obviously, I think my biggest fear is going to be having it uh, too intense. So I'm going to start super slow and ramp it up as needed. But there you have it. The Night Crew Hyper Reef 50. Uh, there's all the specs on it right there. It was $99 from Amazon. It was super simple to set up. I will follow up with you guys when I get the controller and see how that works. Uh, but so far, once again, like I said, I'm pumped. So I know the tank is dirty, uh, but I love the shimmer. And I think it gives off great blue and white light. And I love how adjustable it is. 
and I'm looking forward to seeing how it works for me. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions or you were considering uh, this small light, I did go with the 50 watt also because of that controller. So you can't get the LED controller if you get the 30 watt. It does come with a different kind of manual type controller that you can plug in and you can still program it. Uh, it's just not as user friendly as the LED uh, display. And so that's just another reason why I went with the Hyper Reef uh, 50. You can also chain these together. So I could get another one if I had a bigger tank and then I can connect them with the cord and run them off the same controller. So this light at 50 watts, although more than I need, gives me a lot of options in the future so so far super happy with it anyone else has this light and would like to comment and let me know how it worked for them or how it didn't please do uh do me a favor hit like hit subscribe and drop a comment good luck everybody out there